Mina, Gunbonwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with Psalm 77. And I'm going to start with verse 7 here. Um, and I'd like to preface it with verses 1 through 6 are a lot like verses 7 through 9. Um, things aren't going well. He really doesn't see God anywhere close by or doing really anything for him. He seems to have kind of left the scene. So starting at verse 7, Will the Lord cast off forever? And will he be favorable no more? Has his mercy ceased forever? Has his promise failed forevermore? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has he in anger shut up his tender mercies? Selah. And I said, this is my anguish, but I will remember the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your wonders of old. And then from there on down, he talks about, I guess you could say, quote unquote, the good old days where, where God had been a part of Israel's history and got him out of Egypt and was just a generally, you know, an amazing guy and did wonders and miracles. And I think that brings a very important perspective to what a lot of us go through on a regular basis. A lot of us, I think probably the vast majority of us lead just regular day-to-day -day lives. We don't see miracles. We don't hear the voice of God on a regular basis. Um, I'm very thankful that I hear God. Uh, I was going to say, I'm going to do a quick backpedal. I do hear God's voice on a pretty regular basis, and I'm very thankful for that. I seek Him quite often, and He does answer. He indeed does respond. And I've been with Him for over 20 years as well, so there's been a lot of seeking and searching on my part. I feel like that alone merits almost in another entire video. Let me just briefly touch on that. If you seek God, you will find Him. If you want to hear His voice and you keep pursuing it, you will eventually get just that. doesn't mean I hear things on the level of the Bible. It doesn't mean I hear God's voice you know, on a prophetic level like the Apostles or Paul or anything. I'm working towards that. I'd like to get there one day. But I've definitely heard God on a few things, and they were pretty square, accurate, dead on. So I'm very confident when I say, I have heard the voice of the Lord. Nonetheless, that doesn't get that doesn't mean I don't have to work a day job. That doesn't mean uh, I don't have to pay for my food. Doesn't mean I don't have to pay my regular bills and rent and all that good stuff. Life does have several normal parts and facets to it. And a lot of people I understand do not have that. And I certainly I, I would say I've gone through what I'd call dry spells where there would be an extended period of time where I don't hear anything new, where I don't hear the voice of the Lord, where it's just life is normal. And then, to take it a step further, there are times where you just go through hell, and you don't see anything, you don't hear anything, no miracles, no wonders, there's not a sermon you've heard in the last month that's really ministered to you. Um, it's a good message, good speaking, but nothing really hit you in the heart, nothing really changed your life. It's just this kind of the same old, same old stuff. And you're going through, you're going through the ringer, and it's like, God, where are you? And I love what Asaph does there in that psalm. Despite not seeing anything or hearing anything right then and there, he recalls how good God is, and he recalls the wonders of the days of old. Just because you don't see God right here and right now doesn't mean... He's not there. It doesn't negate all the wonderful stuff he has done. So when, you, when you're going through the ringer and, you, and it seems like the doors of heaven are brass, as they say, remember the times when God did come through in your life. Remember when you did hear his voice and you heard it accurately. And whatever it was, it came to pass exactly as you heard it. And it was exactly what you needed for that time. And just as God was there and got you out of the mess in the past, he will in time, specifically in his time, get you out of whatever this mess is that you're currently going through right now. God has not abandoned you, forsaken you, or forgotten you. He's right there. Keep leaning on him. Keep trusting him. And keep remembering those good memories. Keep looking on those past examples of him coming through for you. Because just as he did in the past, so he will in whatever it is you're going through right now. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.